you know, uh, when, when you start looking forward, right, there's, there's an, you know, the way technology shifts, I mean, who could have said five years ago we'd be where we are now? And when you talk about where the next new uh, revolution would come from, the revolution isn't just technology driven. It comes from to what level innovation leverages on technology, because that drives the next shift. And it's, it's, it's a difficult one for me to answer because, you know, I travel, I, I, I've been exposed to different markets. I think the, the, the one that, that kind of ticks my mind is, is that question of singularity. To what extent do we merge human or augment human capability with machine capability? And I think that's, a, that, that, that's where the next shift is going to come. Yeah, there's going to be uh, ethical uh, issues that we need to look at. There's going to be policy uh, issues that we need to look at. Uh, and we'll address that. But if you look at, at the concept of singular, singularity, um, I think that's the next really shift that's really going to make, a, make, a, make an impact. And, and that's why when we talk about AI, and people talk about it, refer to it as artificial intelligence. You know, we could also refer to it as augmented intelligence. And to, what, to what extent does um, you, uh, machine capability and capacity augment human capability and capacity? Uh, and how do we use it in an innovative manner to create value? And I'm not talking about just economic value, but societal value. We've got challenges. I mean, let's be honest about it. If we didn't have challenges, we wouldn't have 17 sustainable development goals in Africa. Um, so, um, uh, and that's where uh, I think the, the next shift is going to happen and, and how do we close those, the gaps on addressing those sustainable development goals.